Broadcasting 24-7. You know that is. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 366 if it's a leap year. TGFradio.com. We never stop. You're watching the Vero G Spotlight Radio Show every Wednesdays at 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time with host Vero G, co-host The Lava on DTFRadio.com. Here we go! You're listening to DTF Radio. DTF Radio. Number one. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Vero G with my lovely special co-host Gemini Stacks. How are you? I'm great. Okay. How you feel that we starting a new episode, a new season back at the our our TV show? How do you feel about that? I feel that? great. I feel great. It's a new year and uh, new beginnings. Definitely, definitely. And talk about new beginnings. We just had our two year anniversary at the radio station yesterday at DTF Radio. How did you feel about that? I feel great. You uh -huh. know? I was there from the beginning, and um, yeah. and at the end of the day, you know, people enjoyed it, and you know, and that's what it's about. I like that. That's that's awesome. That's what it's about. You know, end of the day. But I do want to show quickly on those who are watching us on TV World. We are. This is the issue. We have the other one. We have two issues for the January issue of the Vero G Spotlight magazine. On this issue, we got Raheem from the Grandmaster Flash and Furious Five, and we also have Sean Quest on the other issue from Creator Stream, and he's a DJ and CEO from that. Go support that at www.macloud.com, guys, so you can definitely support that. Quickly, also, guys, if you guys can see, I have a Mother's Love book. It's out now, available at www.amazon.com. Um, besides, before we get into anything else, real quickly, you guys, you can follow me at my Instagram, at OfficialVeroG. Where can they find you, uh, Gemini uh, Stacks? That's at Gemini Stacks. That's capital G, M, I, N, I, S, C, A, X, not double X, not triple X. So make Ooh. sure all you got to do is just put one X and I'll pop up right away. I on like On Facebook that. or Instagram. I like that. I like that. Also, new music is out now for this year, the Here I Am album, uh, which has a lot of great songs. And uh, definitely support that. It's at all digital platforms. And also vote for both my songs, guys, Let Them Heal You and Emikama, available at www.ldmradio.com slash vote. Well, vote once a week. That's how it is, right, Gemini? Yes. Once a week. Once a week. <laughs> <laughs> Once a week. That's pretty much about that. Um, let's get into about what you're doing. You've been doing a lot since, like, during the COVID situation. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about, you have a new show called Gemini Stacks Cooking. Yes. Um, tell the, the viewers more about that. Uh, what it is, is a, it's a cooking show that happens uh, probably twice or three times a week. Okay. Um, what I do is I cook different dishes on what I do. And... Um, I just enjoy doing what I do, and I, and I want the, the the world to know that people can cook whether you whether you got COVID or you don't. Exactly, I like that. And what kind of foods do you like? Let's say what like what types of foods that you prefer to cook and that sorts. Uh, right now Chinese food, uh, American dishes, uh, chicken wings, fried rice, shrimp, uh, uh, uh onion rings, baked potato. Spaghetti, mm. um, egg rolls, egg rolls. Oof, those are good, by the way. Rolls. <laughs> those are good. <laughs> okay, okay. Macaroni and cheese. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Let's say, for example, let's say somebody has like a a large order. Order they want to go through. Oh you. yes, I do have my um my menus out and my uh my, my cards and um my cutting boys actually. Ooh, yeah, and those people could like contact you directly to if they want to get a copy or like let's say want to get their own uh, from you. Yes, that's uh, Gemini Stacks, 
on Facebook and Instagram, all you have to do is just contact me, and I'll know, and you just tell me what you want, and you get it. I like that. I like that. And how, let me ask you, who inspired you um, to get into uh, cooking? I know you cooking is a very pa passionate thing for you. Yes, yes. But let's just get into of who started, who inspired you to get into that. Uh, definitely. It's my mother first, obviously, of course. Because she figured, you know, I was a kid that uh, that was always picked on and all that stuff. So she just told me, um, you know, I just saw her cook and I wanted to be like her. So. But it was other people too, but you know. But, but she's she, like but the she main started, one. Yes. Okay. And like what foods did she cook in the house that you just love, like like embrace and stuff like I that? I definitely loved her macaroni and cheese. Ooh. And her turkey and Thanksgiving was bomb. Did she do um like the grill, like the you know how they do like the option where you could bake it in the oven or the other option, like the the fried? Did, you, did she do uh, that or she did uh bake bake uh Turkey? Baked turkey. Ooh, listen, it's Ham, been a long time. Cakes, uh, macaroni and cheese, uh, what's that? Um banana pudding. Oh, I love it. Ooh, I love damn. it. Damn. See, see you I, I'm All trying to lose this, this right now. Was. This is what I do. <laughs> no, I love that. How how many years you've been doing this though? Twenty years. Wow. That's amazing. And you have your license. Yes. Okay. So, so not only do I cook, but I'm a licensed chef too. Okay, okay. I'll do other things too, but you know, I have my other licenses and other stuff too, but you know, right now it's cooking right now. Okay, that sounds good. And your um your show, the cook Gemini cooking show started last year. Yes. Um and you have more episodes coming soon. Yes. Uh so people could because we have we're gonna show a clip actually, um, of the last episode you have, which we have it up and we're gonna show that and maybe we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. We just showed you a clip of uh gemini stacks cooking that was amazing um you actually show some of your cooking i think if i'm not mistaken um it was you did an episode i think that was one where you did like the mashed potatoes it was like with potatoes in it yeah. um you know that was actually before i got my um my covid shot actually so ah you know okay. i wanted to do it before i got my covid shot and you know because i figured once i get it i ain't gonna be able to do it anything any I ain't, I ain't gonna be able to move anyway, so mm -hmm. might as well do it. But let me ask you, that's good you mentioned COVID. So during the COVID situation, how did you manage? Like, you know, if did you get did you get clients or did, were you able to like? Oh uh, yeah, you know? actually I did. Um, you know, went to venues and um, actually you was one of my clients too. Actually, uh, yes, I just yeah, thank you so, said that. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, yeah, I. I I'm a loyal customer. Listen, uh, his his food is good. Thank I, you. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. And um, like you said, you took time to like perfect your craft. Yes, of course, of course. Okay. Took me years and years and years in trust. Wow. Trust. But let me ask you, what is your future goals as a cook or a chef? What is your dream job besides? Um, who, do you want to cater to celebrities? Do you want to have a food truck? Like, what do you have in something in the future you want to do with that? Uh, I, I think a food truck right now. Okay. Think a food truck right now, cause even though I got my license, and it's COVID, and I can do a di different dishes and all that. Yes. At the end of the day, I still got to start at the bottom. That is true. That's so right. I got to work my butt off and start from the bottom, so I can be just like all the other rest rest of the celebrity chefs, right? Well, I mean, you start somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah, as they yeah, say. Of course, so of course. definitely, definitely. Um, what else I wanted to ask you is something that um that caught my eye. Um, I feel. Especially now, like people are staying home with COVID and everything, they had to learn a new trade, right? Like they yeah. end up being their own business, stuff like that. So, with your your business, uh, Gemini's Tax Cooking, tell the viewers watching home, um, like let's say if somebody is interested and want to hire you for an event or something, like what what your food stands out from the rest? Put it that way. Um, the fact is, you don't have to pay for it. I do it all myself, so you don't mm. have to pay for it. All you gotta do is make sure you have the money. Mm -hmm. And I'm good, and you good. I mean, you do you have to get paid for your time, though? I mean, no, like, no. What I'm saying is, I I pay for it, mm -hmm. and all you have to do is make sure that you have the money when the food is delivered. I like that. That's it. It's simple. Ah, okay. And is there like a uh, a special dish? Like, do you know every chef or every cook has their own specialized dish, right? Yes. So, do you have one that is like a specialized one that you? Do you like? Uh, let's see. I did it in 2012. So let's do um, uh, chicken and shrimp, macaroni and cheese. Ooh. And I've been Ooh. doing that since 2012 to currently now. That's awesome. Is there anything new that you want to, like, 
create or make down the line as Actually, a lead I your do, brand? Do a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, bake macaroni and cheese, uh, chicken and broccoli. You know, bake bacon, egg and cheese, broccoli, all that stuff. Mac oh. and cheese, all that. I like that. I like that. Okay. All right. So, uh, where can people find you and your food, like your social media, where like if they want to like hire you for an event or something? Uh, you definitely find you can find me at Gemini Stacks on uh, Facebook and Instagram, and definitely YouTube, and um, just text me and and I'll be there. Okay. Okay. And uh, any shout outs? Any? I uh, definitely want to shout out uh, Bell G for uh, always eating my food. Well, thank you. I, and you know, I, <laughs> it tells, but I'm trying to lose it. So, yes, but it's good. It's good. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, the radio show. Because I actually uh, 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 cook for the radio show, too. You have. Yes. And you did a couple of events upstate yes. and upstate also. And uh, Hall of Fame Studios. I remember that, yeah. And yeah. Uh, the back to school event and mm -hmm. all that stuff. So. And I have my uh, my CPR license too, so mm. not only do I cook, but I save people too. People don't know that. Ooh, and he's single, ladies. <laughs> Just throwing in there. I mean, come on now. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. But um, yeah. So they could find you Instagram. Um, Instagram I'm at Gemini Stacks. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, Gemini uh, capital uh, G M I N I S T A X, not double X, not triple X. Please don't ask me why I came up with that name. So I, I didn't just, ask. I, I didn't just, ask. I just don't want to <laughs> use my real name. Exactly. So I had mm -hmm. to come up with a nickname, mm -hmm. so that uh, so that I can enjoy it. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds so good. So I won't get too personal. Definitely, definitely. But um, I want to thank you for being on the show today. And definitely. Um, thank you. Definitely. And we're gonna stay. We're gonna still be protecting ourselves with the COVID situation and try of to course. stay, you know, in that situation, all that. And um, yeah, we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to the Vero G Spotlight TV show with your host Vero G and DJ Chef. DJ Chef. You guys are clapping. Who's left me here? All right, yes. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. We got the kids in the back. <laughs> oh my God, let me stop. Listen, we have an amazing guest for you guys here today. On my right side, he goes by the name of Young J, right? Yep. I want to make sure, make sure I get the name right. Yes, but thank you for coming. No problem. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Not a problem. All right, are you ready for the questions? Yeah. All right, baby, let's go. Okay, so listen, first question for you is, tell us more about yourself as an artist. Um, as an artist, I would have to say that I'm more versatile. Um, I could rap over boom bap beats. Wow. I could rap over trap beats. In fact, that was what um, my last project, that what was called Underrated. Nice. That was all the... Basically, that would, it was all about versatility, you know? Okay. That's really cool. I like that. I like that. Okay. Um, like, what kind of music you, you per se, would like to, like, you worked on before? Like, rap, R&B? Like, what is your... I've, I worked yeah. on rap music. Almost. Oh, almost all my life. Okay. All this time that I've been rapping. Okay. And I've been rapping since I was nine years old. Not, or what type of, as a rapper, what kind of style do you, like, do, like, freestyling? Do, what, like, what kind of, because everybody has a different, you, click, you know, kind of thing to that. So what is yours, like? Um, mine's is I, I don't even I don't even think I could describe myself because I do I'm all over the place. You know, nice. I try to keep you know do almost everything. I try not to limit myself to one thing. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, okay, learn something new every day. All right, all right. I like right. that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, actually, my next question is um, you just answered my question with some music. All right, um, next one. <laughs> <laughs> um, who would you like to work with as a celebrity, as an artist, if you have the chance to in the industry, and why? Um, mm. that's an easy question. Well, that's kind of like a hard <laughs> question because there's a lot of um, artists I want to work with. But as a celebrity, if I wanted, I want, I would like to work with Jay Z. Ooh, because oh, yeah. you know, not only does he, you know, have a good flow, but he be dropping, you know, jewels and knowledges in his verses as well. It's it's not simple. You have to listen to get it. But, you know, it's worth it because you got to decipher it. And then you'll be like, oh, he said this. I'm like, okay. Mm, I mean, like it, mean, like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, stop now. But, um, no, no, but I, I like that because, you know, every, everybody has, like I said, different type of style and thing. Hey, you can give a little something too off after that, right? Yeah, sure. Give a little something. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to to my... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, do you have any upcoming projects uh, you're working on music-wise, albums, or upcoming shows? Let them know. Um, yeah, um, I actually do have two projects coming up. Um, one um, project is going to be... Uh, a collective project. Mm -hmm. I sent my song to one of um, you know, the people that I work with mm -hmm. is gonna be a, is gonna be on 
upcoming album. It should nice. be dropping this summer, and I'm going to drop an EP this summer. Ooh. I felt like I should. I felt like I have to um, follow up with Underrated, so it's like I'm gonna be dropping some new joints. I like that. Do you know? Do you we want to like disclose the name of them or no? Not yet. Uh, nah. Okay, un undisclosed. <laughs> it's don't say no more. Don't yeah. undisclose. I'm, I'm kind of secretive with my stuff, so you know. You oh, know. okay. Yeah. Okay, and any other coming um, shows you're going to be doing in the New York City area? Or? Um, well, next week I'm going to be flying out to New Orleans to actually perform mm -hmm. one of the songs that I have on the um, album. So, yeah, pretty, that's pretty much what I'm doing this summer. I'm promoting, performing, and dropping new, new, new things. Ooh, man, check him out. Yes, yes. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say no more. It's very private. I understand. Um, <laughs> what is your social media where you can find you and book you as well? Um, you can find me on um, Instagram. My Instagram is KID Kishazam26, as in the superhero. Um, everything else you can find there as well. If you want to collaborate, you can hit me up because I'm always down to do collaborations with other artists. Mm -hmm. And I'm also down to, um, I, I also make beats. So if you want to beat, you can hit me up as well. You know, I try to be a jack of all trades, like my man over there said. Mm -hmm. So you know, it doesn't hurt to. You can't just limit yourself to one thing. You gotta um, experiment and try out new things as well. So. Facts, facts. Let's give it up for Young Jay. Yeah, yes. So soon he will give us a nice performance of his amazing work. But we thought I'd take a quick break to the Virgie Spotlight TV show with your host Virgie. What's that pasta? <laughs> Take it away, Young J. Go ahead, baby. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Excited. You know how we do it. Because it's very well, I'm excited. Oh, you better stop it now. Let's get it. I'm excited. Yo, y'all got me out the house, I'm happy. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, go, Thanks, go. Hey, guys, so welcome. We're at the SOBs, the legendary SOBs right now with your host, Real G, at this amazing Christmas, amazing, amazing show. And we're on the right side. We got our brother <laughs> from another mother, okay? Let's get it. <laughs> Who'll be on DTM Radio next week, by the way. Just throwing the plug in there. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Right now, we got Lazarus to talk down from the Boogie Down Bronx. How you doing, baby? Let's do it. How you doing, sis? Ah. You know, always a pleasure to be on your show and your platform. I'm excited. Oh, we had the legendary SOBs before yes. Christmas for the people that know Spanish. Feliz Navidad. Yeah. That, that, you know, got to give them the love for the Latinos, you know? Don't forget that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Word up. Definitely, definitely. So, um, what are you going to perform for us tonight and what are we going to see on the show? Okay, so tonight I'll be giving them a professional show mix. You know, a lot of the artists, shout out to the other artists I know. Um, I know I'm um, the DJ personally, and uh, shout out to Lizzie Chanel and Fashion God Pre, and of course, uh, you know, Joey, who put this wonderful event together, you know, for Christmas. Shout out to Marianne and everyone wonderful here at SOBs for allowing us to come and do this. Um, I plan to perform Lights Out for them, so, you know, we're going to give them, you know, a real dark and gritty, hardcore feel, and then I'm going to up-tempo it and change it to Block Party, give them my hit, so that way they have a kind of like a mix of, you know, melodic or hardcore at the same time. Ooh, and you know you can bring it down. We know yeah. how you do, so I'm already extra excited for bringing the Bronx down to Lower Manhattan, by the way. Um, but besides that, um, what else real quick are you doing and your social media? Oh, yes, you can follow me at Lazarus the Top Dawn. You know, that's L-A-Z-A-R-I-S, the word the, no Ebonics, but shout out Big L, T-O-P-D-O-N. <laughs> All right, and that's everywhere. If not, you can follow me on my website, www.topdawnempire.com. Log on, join the nation, and make sure that you get in tune with me. As far as what's coming new, um, you know, make sure you go get me on that Vero G Spotlight Magazine, yes. December yes. issue, all right? Happy holiday, <laughs> special issue. Shout out to my sister for getting me on there, all right? Appreciate that make sure y'all tune in next week because we're going to be on DTF Radio. Got to throw yes. that in there. Make sure y'all watching the show and tune in. Next, what's coming from me will be my album. Right now, what we have out for a sneak peek for everybody is the Army video. You could go Ooh. check that out right now on Get Adam Records. Me, Infamous Amadeus, Cruz Blazing, Party G, and myself, and Brian J, all right? And right now, the video's out on YouTube everywhere. It's called The Army. So you could tune into that. After that, you could tune into my album coming, The Life of a Dawn. That'll be next year. And after that, my birthday. Y'all know what's up. Ooh, so we get extra saucy, right? Yeah, we get extra saucy. Y'all already know the flies will be up for everybody that's not invited. Follow me on Instagram. You might get the invite. All right. So again, let's give it up for Lazarus to Top Down, everybody. Let's Woo. get in. Let's give it up for Vero G. You already know oh, the legendary you. SOBs. And make sure y'all stay tuned in. We ain't here. Shout out Lizzie Chanel. Thank you. Now for the winner of the Latin category. And your 5th LTN Music Award winner for the Latin category goes to...
Vera G, featuring Cuban Link, with Come With Me. This is Vero G's third nomination and her first award. Congratulations, Vero G. And I heard that she's here performing today. Is yes, she, she is performing today. That's a thing. And she's in the studio to give a speech about her award. So take it over, Vero G. Vero G. Featuring Cuban Link with Come With Me. This is Vero G's third nomination and her first award. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a mess right now. <laughs> oh. oh, and I really did make a well shit. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know I speak. I don't know what to even say. I'm like, I can't even say. Hi guys, this is Vero G. I'm so honored. Thank you so much. This is my acceptance speech. It's going to be long. Um, I am so honored to have been the fifth LDM Latin Award artist awarded this amazing plaque. Um, thank you, Cuban Link. No, he couldn't make it today. You're watching the Vero G Spotlight Radio Show every Wednesdays at 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time with host Vero G, co-host The Lama on DTFRadio.com. Here we go! You're listening to DTF Radio. DTF Radio. Number one. 